All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekakwadash. Secondly, I want to give double honors to our apostles and our elders here at Great Millstone for teaching us this truth and who rule well. And Shalom to all you brothers across the four corners of this earth, pushing this word with all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. I write it's your brother Kabad from GMS Heavy Honor 144, GMS South Carolina Midlands Camp. Just coming back with a quick video through the power and the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And Lord willing, this video is edifying and good nourishment to the house of David. All right, and just getting straight into this video, man. This is a very uh, serious to the point video, man. All right, because, and as all videos they are serious and to the point, but this one right here in particular is serious and straight to the point for the Akium. All right, and a few Akwafs that, to the best of your abilities, are, 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 are staying in. In, in order doing doing what you're supposed to do as far as being in order with your man so on and so on all right now getting into this video um just real life man all right in real life all right and the water to the priest Anwa of, of the South Carolina Midlands camp because a hey, the brother's just watching over the flock doing what he's uh, uh commanded to do because the most high deals with what decency and order man all right and and, and we know that the Lord as the scriptures say the Lord says what in uh first Peter he said he's going to come and, ch and examine the house of Israel right uh, roughly paraphrasing matter of fact so I won't um butcher it let's read it right quick first Peter chapter 4 in verse uh, 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 17, it says, for the time will come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh. All right. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh? OK, so the time is going to come when Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, when the spirit. All right. Has it when Yahweh Shai comes back and, and judgment starts with what? The, the house of Israel first. All right. So the Lord has set up brothers in decency in order. All right. To what? Make sure that the state of the flock is, is doing what they're supposed to be doing, man. Because what are, what are we told, man? We're supposed to be being fervent in this business when we're serving Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. The scripture is uh, uh, commanded us to be fervent it means to be on fire in this thing that we're doing all right the thing that we're involved in all right now is the time to be what making our election and our calling sure and this faith this truth this knowledge this wisdom and understanding man this isn't the time to be uh uh standing in our own so like now don't get it twisted now we, we we are our own worst enemy but in these times that we're in now, in the times that we're approaching, and we got to be putting, as the scriptures say, having that full armor of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. All right, knowing uh, what to do and what not to do, man. All right, we can't have you having no Urkel moments. Did I do that? And uh, I didn't mean to. We you know we just got, hey, and I'm going to get that scripture about examining ourselves. Okay, but we got to remember that what, as we just read, the judgment begins at the house of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, and the Lord has uh, set up men that are over us to make sure that we're in order all right now that just pretty much that we're doing what we're supposed to do man and that's all part of spirit as well too all right and we're going to get those scriptures as well too now let me read let brothers and sisters this to know that this is hey this is brother's life man all right brothers are, are constantly growing uh, uh the scriptures say iron sharpens of iron you don't want to be around a, a, a dull minded or, or or a dull brother all right. We want to be around a bright like with this little light, man. This light represents the knowledge, truth and understanding. And we wanted to burn bright, man. All right. So as iron sharpened of iron, we don't want to be uh, 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 you don't want to be dull. You want to be sharp, man. All right. So um, hey, straight to the point, man, just real life for you brothers and, and, and you feel aquas, man. This is the hey, from the priest. Uh, on why this is what he told the Akim. He said, hey, Akim, there's no reason bro should be going six to seven days without making videos. It's way too much going on not to be posting videos. And he said, man, that's piss poor. Let's step it up and do the work. Speaking to myself first and foremost. Now, that's a hey, all that is real, real. OK, because brothers, sometimes brothers, whatever the case may be. But there's no excuse, as the priest just said. But I want brothers and sisters to pay attention how the brother said speaking to myself first and foremost. That's called self-examination. Now, we're going to pause right there because I want to get two scriptures to back that up. And they, the water, for that, for the priest, we pray that we all are part of that election, man. All right. Being a part of what? Doing things in decency and order and doing what the Lord commands us to do. Because once again, we're, we're commanded to be first in this business all right now let me hold that right quick because we just read the message from the priest man all right and this is the and and, and this is the standard this is the requirement that brothers be a daily edification making a video man all right doing what you're supposed to do because the scriptures tell us what the harvest harvest is plenty but the laborers are few 
All right. And we don't want to be we want to be a part of that, that the, the laborers that are doing the work of Yahweh by Shem Shai, man. All right. So when the Lord comes back, he can say that, hey, I know that my servant was working. All right. And, and you don't have to uh, feel that guilt of like, damn, I didn't do enough because we're never going to do enough. But at the same time, hey, we got our hands on the plow, man, and we got to continuously do the work, man. And we got to continuously think that uh, when brothers uh, reprove and correct, man. All right. To any brother that 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 it applies to, man, shit, that applies to me sometimes, man, because I I can get and the brother say, hey, come by, hey, 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 brother, what's going on? You know what I mean, but you gotta love that, you gotta appreciate that because this is a part of that ministry and this is a part of of, of being in the brotherhood, man. All right, and at the same time too, this is a uh, pedal to the metal time, man. All right, trying to be a hey, full fledged, being fervent. All right, now. Once again, the priest says, uh, start with himself first and foremost. And that's the mind frame that a spiritual man is going to have, man. Examining yourself first and foremost, man. All right. Now, this is um, 2 Corinthians. All right. 2 Corinthians chapter um, 13 and 5, getting straight to it. It says, it says, examine yourself, whether you be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Okay, so the scripture said, well, you got to examine yourself first and foremost. Your biggest enemy is the man that you see in the mirror, man. All right. He, he, he's, he's constantly wanting the, the flesh wants to be a part of this earth, man. The flesh is a part of this world, man. All right. That's why we got to remain spiritual. Okay, that's why the scripture said, examine yourself, whether you be in the faith, man. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves. How that Yahweh Shai Mashiach is in you, except you be reprobates. Now, the Most High Man has given us this knowledge, this truth, this understanding. All right, He has uh, 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 blessed us to, to, to see our, our eyes, to see our apostles and our elders, to understand the mysteries and the breakdowns. All right, so this is why we constantly got to examine ourselves to make sure that we're operating in the spirit, man, because the flesh is so fucking carnal, man. All right, it wants to be a part of this world, man. All right, and sometimes if you, do, if you don't have your mind in order, guess what? Your mind, as the scriptures say, man, your mind is, is desperately wicked, man. It, uh, uh, going back into a trying to make you uh, uh, be a part of the world, man, or, or, or just just trying to make you go off, man. So you have to constantly examine yourself, man, to make sure that you're in the faith, man. And that was an example of the priest examining himself, man, first and foremost, man. All right. And then and then and doing what he's commanded to do, because the Lord a hey, blessed uh, put the brother in a certain position hey, where, 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 as the bishop would say. And, and as the elders and apostles say, man, hey, man, hey, we got to watch the state of our flock, man. All right, when when you're in a brother in a, in a high position, all right, hey, hey, all the uh, uh 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 the heads of the camp, the elders of the camp, hey, those brothers have a responsibility to uh, uh watch their flock, man. All right, so brothers should never feel like oh he's getting on me, man. He getting on me, man. Hey, man. Hey, you rather that brother get on you than your Howard Shy get on you, man? Because your Howard Shy don't plan on doing no talking, man. All right, because the Most High said, hey, he what he what he expects us to do. All right, with the talents that we have, man. All right, with the time and the opportunity and with this knowledge, this wisdom and understanding. That's why the scriptures just said, know you not that Yahweh Shai dwells in you, except you be reprobates, man. All right. Now, now I'm back in once again on the on, on back on the uh because I wanna I wanna highlight two things. Now the priest said in that text as well, too, Brakdaya Bashim Hey, this is another example of humility, man. All right. And with that being said, because hey, that brother did, just, just didn't say, hey, man, y'all just you, 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 you. He, he said, hey, brothers, hey, let you know that they always watching. The most high is always watching. So, hey, brothers, hey, be on your be on your job doing your videos, man. All right. Yeah, we might go out on this day, this day, that day, this day, that day. OK, but when it comes to our daily, daily edification, once again, speaking to myself as well, man, and hey, we got to make sure that we're doing our, our due diligence every day. OK. And um, and then once again, the, the priest uh, and I read the remainder of it because, hey, this is also uh, it, it's all good edification through the spirit of the most high. All right. Now, real quick, because starting with, when you, with like, like how the priest, man, like I said, that was a, a, a humility thing, man, as well, too. Now, this is Proverbs. I'm going to read this real quick and we'll go back to the um, text. and We're going to continue just rolling in the spirit. All right. Of uh, uh, examining yourself to make make sure that you're in the faith of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, now this is real quick. This is Proverbs. Um, real quick, this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 15, verse 33. And it reads, all right, Proverbs 15 and 33, it says, uh, To fear the fear of the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And we know by now, pursuing the Proverbs 1 and 7, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and instructions. All right, knowledge and instructions. All right. The, the Lord orders and instructs men to be in a certain order and certain, uh, you know, can, and, and do certain things. Hey, 
and, and this all comes from the fear of the Lord. So when a brother is correcting another brother or a brother is checking another brother on a spiritual tip, you know what I'm saying? Hey, that's just all hey, the fear that the Lord has placed on him because hey, brothers don't want to have no blood on our hand. We want to make sure that, hey, to the best of our abilities, as much as we edify the, the, the ones that, the, the, you know, the ones that, that, that refuse the, the knowledge, hey, within our, our own circle, man, we got to make sure that brothers is on point, man. All right, brothers is, is staying on fire for this word, for this gospel. All right, now going back into just an act of humility. All right, this is what the Lord says. He says, The fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, is the instruction of wisdom, and before honor is humility. All right, now that's a, a act of humility, man. All right, because the brother, a hey, once again, showing how humble he, he, he is, man. All right, the brother didn't say, I'm doing all the work. I'm always doing that. Hey, bro, say, hey, man, hey, hey, I'm speaking to myself first and foremost. Hey, we got to, I got to step it up. We got to step it up. And guess what? We, we step, we're going to step the fuck up, man. All right, because once again, hey, we rather hear it from a brother. Hey, hey, the Lord speaks to his prophet because the Lord, hey, he ain't planning on doing no talking, man. All right, the Lord already gave, especially once we in the know, hey, we know what we got to be doing, man. We know what, 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 what the requirements are, man. All right. All right, from the for, hey, coming straight from the, our head apostle himself, man, Elder Apostle Tahar, man. All right, on down. We know what it is, man. Elder Apostle Gabar, okay, Elder Apostle Ricard, Elder Apostle Ramla. We know what it is, man. All the bishop elders, hey, we know what time it is, bro. So, hey, we just got to be staying in the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. All right, doing what, what, what our elders and our apostles instruct us to, to do because guess what? The Lord is dealing with our apostles and our elders, man. All right, and if, and if we're getting chastised and if, if, through, through the spirit, we know the Lord is dealing with us too, man. All right, so hey, Rakata Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai for all, hey, all our apostles and our elders' act of humility, man. Always a hey, hey, correcting uh, 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 Akim. And, and but first and foremost, hey, a, a man of humility is always correcting himself first, man. All right, that's how you can tell the difference of, of, of a spiritual man. You how about Shimmy how shy as well, too, man. All right, now, real quick, we're going to go back to um, the points we made on, on, the, on the text, man. All right, brothers, know what time it is. So, uh, uh this is um, going back to Second Corinthians, we read that already, and then we're going to just roll through the spirit. This is Second Corinthians chapter 13. Uh, verse five, it says, examine yourself, whether you be in the face and uh, shall I examine yourself, whether ye be in the faith, prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves, how that Yahweh Shammashiach is in you, except ye be reprobates. All right. Now, the spirit of the Lord is always running with us, man. We pray that we're the men of, of the Lord Yahweh Shammashiach, man. So now we're going to go at wisdom of Solomon. We're going to start at the top. We're going to read down to verse five, right through the spirit. OK, now this is. um. Was the, the point I want to get is in point four, though. All right. Now, this is Wisdom of Solomon, uh, chapter one at the top. It said, Love righteousness, ye that be judges of the earth. All right. I'll be right side. We pray that, hey, we're the hopeful, humble elect, man. All right. And, and that the ones, hey, we love righteousness, man. All right. Hey, the ones that are out there signing the crime for all the abominations, man. I right, we pray that we're part of that number, man. It says, think of the Lord with a good heart. Okay. Good mind. And in simplicity of mind, of heart, seek him. Okay. So that means it shouldn't be on some mind frame of, of leaning on your own understanding. But it said the simple, the, the simplicity of your heart, of your mind, seek the Lord, man. Don't be trying to be all extra deep. All right. Keep it simple, stupid, as our apostles and elders say, man. All right. Now it says, for he will be found of them that tempt him not. He showeth himself unto such as do not distrust him. OK, to the ones that a wholeheartedly what? Believing on you, how about Shem how shy, man? Not trying to lean on their own understanding, but hey, going uh, uh, uh going with the the knowledge and the understanding that the Lord has what given to our apostles and our elders, men that has have that have given us what the understandings and the uh, knowledge of the scriptures, man. All right, the scriptures tell us that the Lord said He would give us prophets that will feed us the knowledge. Uh, with with the uh, matter of fact, let me grab it right quick. Jeremiah three and fifteen, brothers and sister. All right, not going to butcher it. All right, now this is Jeremiah chapter three. Verse 15, and it says, and I will give you pastors according to mine heart, all right, my mind, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding, which shall feed you with the truth, okay, and understanding with things that are about enlightenment, not keeping you in the dark, man. And who are those men? All right, our apostles and our elders, man, sincere believers and sincere followers of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, because when you read it, go back, it says, for he will... Wisdom of Solomon 1 and 2, it says, For he will be found of them that tempt him not, and show of himself unto such as do as do not distrust him. 
for forward, for forward thoughts separate from Yahweh, okay? Perverse thoughts, man. All these, uh, once again, trying to lean on your own understanding. When the Lord, he he, he breaks, he gives his, his uh, 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 what he said, he gives his, his, his secrets unto his men, all right? The prophets, man, all right? That's Amos 3 and 7. Matter of fact, let's get that too for uh, edification's sake. This is the book of uh, Amos, all right, chapter 3. Uh, verse 7, it says, Surely the Lord, Yahweh Shem Abishai, thy power will do nothing, but he revealed his secret unto his servants, the prophets. The ones that are out there, what? Sighing and crying. The ones that are speaking against this place, man. All right. The ones that are breaking down this rightfully dividing the words of Yahweh Shem Abishai. The ones that are adding and taking away. The Lord is revealing those secrets to the to those men. Our brothers out, we pray that we are those men. That's why, once again, the Lord says he will give us the, 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 the pastors that are going to feed a, the hopeful humble, fearful elect with that knowledge and that understanding, things that just make sense. That's why the Lord says, seek him with all simplicity of, of heart, of mind, man. All right. Don't be trying to be all super deep and don't be trying to goddamn lean on your own understanding, man. All right. Uh, uh, which goes into trying to uh, sway the sheep, man. We already have, and, it, and it's a damn shame whenever you, you know that you're an Israelite, all right? You come up, the Lord gives the, the knowledge back to you and the understanding, all right? And then you have Jake just trying to do some remix and add, do they add on? Just stick to the script, man. It's simple as that, man. All right, we already got enough of these weirdos out here just trying to pervert the gospel. And, 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 and the Lord already said he's going to do with them in Jeremiah chapter 23. The woe to you that try to scatter my, 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 my flock, my sheep, all right? Hey, we just got to stick to the script, man. All right, this ain't the time to be leaning on. Like, once again, matter of fact, I'm going to get that too. All right, but Amos 3 and 7, it says, Surely the Lord will do nothing, but he reveal his secret unto the servants, the prophets. All right, now it says, For fraud thoughts separate. Once again, back in Wisdom of Solomon uh, 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 1 and 3, it says, For fraud thoughts uh, for fraud thoughts separate from Yahweh and his power when in his tribe reproveth the unwise, man. All right, because, hey, it said, fraud thoughts uh, separate themselves from the Most High, having perverse, perverse thoughts. As scripture, as scripture say, lean, lean, leaning on your own understanding, okay? Now, because when you start leaning on your, your own understanding, trying to do your own thing, trying to remix, add and take away, and that's separating you from the spirit of Yahweh by Shemi man. All right? And, and, we, and we're going to get down to point four, man. All right? Because once again, this is a point about examining yourself as well, too, man. Being in the spirit of Yahweh by Shemi Shai, man. All right, now this is Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5, and it says, Trust in the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Shai, with all in thine heart. Okay, la'ab, your mind. Trust in the Lord. Now, when we go back to it, it says what? The Most High says what? Uh, Wisdom of Solomon 1 and 2, it says, At the latter end, he showeth himself unto such as do not distrust him, man. All right? So the Most High showeth himself to the ones that do not distrust him, man. All right? Now, when we read... Proverbs 3 and, 5, 3 and 5, once again, it says, trust in the Lord with all thine heart. So that means the Lord says, hey, man, and he's going to show itself to the ones that trust him, all right, and that believe on him, man, all right, that, 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 hey, no matter how bad the situation might be, man, all right, or no matter how great the situation going to be, man, guess what? You're going to be thanking Yahweh by Shem man, all right, you're going to be trusting in, in the Lord Yahweh by Shem Shai, man, with all your heart, man, with all your mind, man. All right. Going back to, as we said, too, man. All right. The, the, you, you, your flesh, man, is desperately and, and, and it's wicked, man. This is why you got to always constantly be in the spirit. Going back to how you always got to be examining yourself, making sure that you're moving in the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Shai. The Most High, he let us know in that verse. He's with us, man. He's with us. Unless what? And you're reprobate. And we're going to let's, let's keep reading now. Wisdom of Solomon 1, um, 3, once again, for fraud, for fraud with thoughts. Separate from Yahweh and his power when it is tried, reprove with the wise. For in two malicious soul wisdom shall not enter, nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin. All right. So, hey, that, that right there just lets us know a whole lot, man. All right. A lot of our people are subject to what? Transgressing the laws, man. So we, we can see through this verse right here why, 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 wisdom, why that wisdom and that knowledge and that light and, 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 and the name of the Most High isn't on these people's minds while they aren't meditating because why? Their bodies are in that, in that, in that mind frame of just keep adding the sin and sin. Like the scripture tells in Isaiah, woe to you that trust in this place, Isaiah 30, and says uh, that they keep adding sin to sin. All right. So when you read this, it tells you that, hey, that wisdom and knowledge, it can't even dwell in your body because you're subject to sin. All right. And uh, 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 Israel is the only uh, nation of people that can sin, man. All right. So this is also a clear cut 
to um uh to show people as well who 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 got the truth as well too man all right because hey that true knowledge and that true wisdom that's that, that true as we just read that jeremiah 3 and 15 and it says the most high is going to give us uh pastors that's going to feed us with uh knowledge and understanding that can't dwell into these other guys man that's, that's constantly going off man all right because right here it says for for into a malicious soul wisdom shall not enter man because a lot of these guys right here man they have alternative alternative uh, uh motives man all right, that's coming with gimmicks and all these uh get rich schemes and and self glory. All right, because it's all about giving the Most High the glory at the end of the day, man. All right, it's not it's not about so called building your resume and yourself up, man. We're supposed to be doing the, once again the work of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. All right, and, and 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 that right there, that subject alone is enough to hey to talk about on an everyday basis, man. Because we're constantly building and building what the house of uh, spiritually building this house of David, man. Because as we read in First Peter, man, hey, that hey the, the Most High is on his way back, and what well, he's going to start at his house first and foremost, man. All right. Now let's get um because um you know we was talking about as well too. All right. Anytime hey, when brothers are getting co corrected as well, too, is when, when it comes to hey, hey, doing a, the due diligence, man. All right. Making our election, not calling short. Hey, we got to We got to love it that we have uh, uh, the order that the most high has set up, man, to make sure that that brothers is on fire, man. To make sure brothers is doing what they're supposed to do, man. All right. Not only is the Lord telling you to examine yourself, but you are hey, watching the state of your flock and, 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 and flock. All right. A hey, 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 true believers. Hey, how about Shimmy? How was shy, man? Hey. If, if that resonates with your spirit and your soul and you know you got to step up and do more, then, hey, man, just step up and do more, man. All right? There's no reason to feel like, oh, man, oh, they picking on me or they getting on me. Or, oh, it's too hard. It's too difficult. Most High ain't trying to hear that, man. Most High speaking through his prophets right now, man. All right? Abarach is out with those men. All right? So, hey, hey men, it's time to, to, to be man and do what we're commanded to do through the spirit of the Yahweh Shem Now, we're going to uh, get this Proverbs because we got to remember this too, man. Barakatai Yahweh Shem Shai. For the brotherhood, man. All right, for for true believers and true uh, brothers that fear the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Shai, examining themselves and examining the flock, and they ain't too ashamed to say, you know what, hey bro, I got it. Hey, we all got to get together, man. All right, start with myself first and foremost. All right, now this is the book of Amos chapter nine, verse eight, and it reads: It says, "Reprove not a scorner, lest he hate thee. Rebuke a wise man, and he will love thee." A brachtai Yahweh by Shema Shai, the water, a habatai to the priest Anwa, man. All right, for 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 examining a brother's uh, daily uh, videos and, and and examining brother's performance, and that goes to a brachta yah by shema shai a habat thumbs to all those brothers that take that time out to examine to see how the sheep is moving, man. All right, and, and the water to those brothers for being in the spirit, because hey, the scripture say, "Reprove not the scorn unless he hate thee, rebuke the wise man, and he will love thee, man." All right, because all the wise men, Abba Ratzazah, we pray that hey, that's that's us brothers, man, and we love our brothers, man. All right, for correcting us because we know that reproving and correction is all a part of this doctrine of you. How about Shimmy? How about Shai, man? All right. Now, um, that's a once again, scriptures say, uh, uh, reprove a wise man and he will love thee because you got to love your brother, man, for, for telling you, hey, bro, get right, get a hey, hey, you don't want to go astray, man. All right, because hey, sometimes you, you, you be around certain like when you was in the world, I know this for like brothers probably can attest to this. Some brothers wanted to see how far you can go out there, just see what you was gonna do. But a true brother's gonna be like, nah, man, I ain't gonna let my brother just be out there wilding out, all right, and, and just watching him continuously slip. I'm gonna make sure I'm holding my brother up. That way he ain't never gonna slip, man. He that way he won't get into a, a, a mind frame of a, a, of of having uh, that mind frame of having droughts or being in slumps. All right, we 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 we, we got to be in the mind frame of perseverance, man. Uh, the scriptures say enduring, man. All right, because you're gonna you're gonna hit peaks and lows, but throughout no matter what's going on, the highs and the lows. Like when you're running a marathon, it's gonna be highs and lows and flat surface, but you got to keep going, man. You got to keep enduring. You got to keep pushing. This plow that we're pushing, we got to keep pushing forward, man. All right. Now, once again, this is another the water to the uh, to the brothers that hey, that's doing their due diligence and still taking time out to examine the, the flock and and, and 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 correct brothers. And hey, that take a whole lot, man. That's why the Most High deals with decency and order, man. So brothers shouldn't be feeling like, oh man, why, why, why? All right. Now this is uh, Proverbs chapter twenty-seven, verse five, and this is going to be it. All right. This is Proverbs twenty-seven and five, and it says, "Open rebuke is better than secret love." 
All right, and that's just straight to the point, man. I show brothers and sisters, hey, I open text message, man. All right, and that's an act of, uh, of, of, of of open rebuke, man. And it ain't secret love, man, because the priest, hey, through the spirit, hey, he love, hey, he love you. How about Shema Bashai? He fear the most high first and foremost. He's going to correct brothers and make sure brothers is doing what they're supposed to be doing through the spirit of How about Shema Bashai, man? All right, now, I brought to Zai this quick video is edifying the good nourishment to the house of David. So I want to close by saying, call Halayim La Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rekakwadash, double honors to our apostles and our elders here at Great Millstone for teaching us this truth and who rule well and shalom to all you brothers across the four corners of this earth, pushing this word with all righteousness and sincerity. Until the next time, I say shalom.